Hello, this is Aaron Cloutier and welcome to this video. I'm gonna be talking about all things drums and specifically working with MIDI drums. So I, I really hope you get a lot out of this. As some of you may know, I do a lot of work as a songwriter for hire and work with a bunch of different companies in different genres. So in this video, I'm gonna take you into a song that I was working on for a client of mine on behalf of a company called Song Glorious and they specialize in personalized songs based on a client's story and it's you know kind of occasion specific so like birthdays weddings anniversaries that sort of thing and because their business model is centered around delivering a personalized song within four days i thought it would be helpful to everybody if i showed you what will be a quick little hack into creating variety with drum patterns without programming everything from scratch. So this is a little trick that I came up with out of necessity just to save time while I was writing the song. So I'm big on variety when creating music and since in this case, the fastest way to incorporate variety would be to work with the MIDI drums, I wanted to show you how to create drum parts from stock grooves that help move the song along while not sounding monotonous. So this is going to be a two-parter with this video in particular showing you how to take a pre-existing MIDI groove and tailoring it to suit your song. So I am currently working on a pop rock style song for a client on behalf of Song Glorious. And here's what I got so far. So yeah, it's very driving, right? I, I, to me, it's got like a kind of Foo Fighters vibe. That seems to be what <laughs> what I lean towards when I'm doing like a pop rock style tune for, for these guys. But these drums weren't exactly how I have them right now. This is the finished result. And I wanna show you what you can do with the kicks to take a basic stock pattern and then, you know, liven it up a bit. So let's get into it. So let's start by pulling in some stock MIDI grooves. So I was using Easy Drummer. I pulled a couple of grooves from the Session Drums MIDI pack, and I believe I start with this guy. So that sounds good, but it's not quite the vibe that I'm after. I want the kicks to be a little bit more involved. So what I like to do, highlight the track, hit Command U to create a cycle mode around the region. And then I can go in and just loop playback while I am editing. So I like recycling beats as well. So I can draw with the pencil tool, by the way, if you don't know that my command click tool here, right, is defaulting to the pencil, which will allow me to create and destroy notes. So what I'll be doing is just going through this bit by bit and just adding kicks as I see fit. Oh, rhyme skills, I didn't mean that. All right, so right there. I want like a Billy Don't You Lose My Number beat, like do do da do ga do do ga. So right about there. Right there as well. I don't think I want the same velocity here. Just because I want it to be a little bit more human. And then another one of these doubles. And then. Yeah. 
same thing here. Maybe bring this down, turn you into a kick. And the reason why I'm recycling like this is because I like the placement where it is and I don't want to necessarily lock everything to the grid because I want to, you know, create the illusion of as human a performance as I possibly can because it's really going to help with writing the guitars and then the vocal lines and everything like that too. All about the feeling. So let's see what we got so far. <laughs> Okay, let's grab you, do the same thing. Get a bit of you. Okay, so that's the first half. Now what I would do here, split this in half. Command U. Do the same thing over here. So borrow this grab this guy and in case I didn't mention it before which I don't think I did I like to use the velocity tool here I'm assuming that you know what this is but just in case you open that up by hitting the T key to bring up your tools and then select velocity tool click and drag up to adjust your velocity. Let's move you here. Bring you down a little bit. Get rid of you. some of the kicks underneath the snare because I feel like it's a little too murky. So. And then maybe one last. So that's what we got so far. All right, just to show you what I did, let's do a before and after. So this is before. And after. All right, so let's hear everything together. Okay, so that's the vibe that I'm after. I like that a lot more. There's a lot more energy going on. I didn't like the amount of space that the kicks were leaving in the original patterns, but I really loved the overall beat so it was worth tailoring so there you have it in the next video i'm going to be showing you a quick hack to add variety to a drum beat without spending more time editing everything all over again thanks for watching if you want to delve a little bit deeper and get some more tips on how to write lyrics and melodies and learn how to beat writer's block and just kind of cultivate inspiration in general i've put together a series of four pdfs that you can grab for free so you can find the link in the description below